Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm going to do th probably three tutorials on Navis when it comes to um, coordinating for MEP, above ceiling type stuff for the detailer. Um, I'm not a Navis expert um, as far as presenting and stuff like that, but um, this is what we do to coordinate our projects um, and get our above ceiling stuff coordinated um, so that it fits and we could start construction. Um, basically what I do is, here's my basic shop drawing. Um, I'll do one or two things. I'll just go ahead and complete the shop drawing or in this case I did a rough drawing because it was so tight and crammed and a lot of changes. Um, this is actually the complete shop drawing but I'll come in and I'll just do rough before I come in here and tag it and do all that stuff. Um, I'll just do a a rough model, and uh, but I don't have that anymore, so I can't show it to you. But uh, what I'll do is to do two things. Okay, if I'm just going to do this in house, the, the guys in the office, and we're just going to look at it, compare some piping against our duct work or whatever. I'll just throw it in there pretty much just like this in the Navis, throw in the pipe. Maybe I'll get rid of some of this excess stuff. But if I've got engineers, architects, owners, uh, especially general contractors um, joining in on the meetings, I'll go ahead and I'll clean it up real nice. And also a large job like this, I'll, and I'll show you the advantages of cleaning it up. Um, I'll clean them up make it just a just a nice little model and I'll show you that right now I've already done it and there we go it's all cleaned up no text nothing but 3d objects and the ductwork and what it does is it allows you to come in here basically what I'll do is I'll take and I'll turn this to an ISO and it's going to take a minute so I'll pause the video I won't put you through that pain Well, okay, now we're back. So, and one of the advantages of this is it's, you get all that clutter out of your way. You can actually come in here and find some stuff that you wouldn't normally see. And uh, I'll try not to zoom in and zoom out. Let me just pan for you. Um, sort of like, like that there. Some disconnected stuff. You can go in there and repair that. Exit. Just come in here and do a repair. And, you know, you're going to find some stuff like that. And you might find some more text or items that you don't want in your model. Anyways, that's what I do. And it's, um, even if you're not going to put it in a Navis, it's a good way to, to find things that you wouldn't normally find. Like, I can tell you that right there is down on the floor and probably that one well no yeah that one might be that one definitely is on the floor but we'll, we'll see that in Navis but, um, so anyways I'll turn this back you don't have to but I do it anyway and we'll go ahead and throw this into Navis it's ready. Yeah, there's a little piece of text we can get rid of. Okay. So next we'll go into Navis. And basically I use I just have these navigation tools up. I, all these other little windows I leave them docked over here. And I have I'm going to show you this a little later but I have a another little window that's a plan view, it's a viewport. I leave it on another monitor. And just come in here and go open. And we'll have to go and search for that. No, nope, open straight to it. 3D model duct. Okay. 
and it's going to take a little bit of time. It's a pretty big file. It's not a big footprint, but there's a lot of a lot of ductwork and mechanical stuff in there. What's going to happen here, and I've seen this a lot on the internet, a lot of questions. Um, maybe the first time you get into Navis and you start opening up, especially MEP drawings or um, third party like uh, uh, CAD duct or CAD pipe, you may have issues, especially with MEP, with your MV parts won't, won't come out as solid, especially the flex, the grills. Um, what you're going to have to do, and I'll post this on the blog, there's a, there's a little TS sheet that uh, Autodesk has out, and it's, you have to install object enablers in both of the programs, and they have to be installed in sequence. Um, there's a step-by-step -step process that has to be followed, and it should solve all of those issues. Um, so basically we got a model here and the reason that didn't come out in 3D is because it's a 3D polyline and it's a fitting I couldn't draw due to the lack of fittings inside of MEP. Um, there's a handful of those in here. It's just sometimes I get just fed up and I just go ahead and draw them. Um, then I turn them into MV parts so that they get, I get hidden lines, but I don't get solid views of them. So, now we got our model in here. We've got our duct model in, for starters. And uh, now the key is, if you've got other people or people in your office drawing, they all have to draw in the same coordinates. I'm sure you know that. And uh, make sure that your sprinkler guys and your plumbers or whoever you're getting other files for, that they all understand that Everything needs to be drawn. I know some of our people in our office, they love to just drag files around and put them anywhere. Um, but you can't do that when you're drawing in 3D. And you can't do that, especially when you're doing it in Navis. So, what we'll do here, let's go ahead and rotate this. Here's your navigation tools. Here's the basic ones I use is walk. You have a look around. Uh, I've never really used that. And zoom and a zoom box which will zoom you in, like a zoom window in, in AutoCAD. Pan I use a lot, Orbit I use a lot, Examine I never use, Fly I never use, and the Turntable I never use. You can play with those, maybe they'll be of some benefit to you. Um, so we'll just start by rotating this so we get a nice little side view of it. 3D orbit type of a deal. I like to have it right about there. And you can just come in tight and then you can start panning and walking. And you can just look around. Everything looks pretty good for a duct system floating in space. So now you want to add, we'll come in here, we'll add structural steel. Come in here, you want to go to the append or control A. Hit that. And you come in and look for your 3D model steel. DWG. Go ahead and load it up. This is a smaller file, it should go a little faster. There we go, now we have steel. <laughs> 